Where some may see a crusty quarter of a red onion, a wrinkly old green pepper, and some uninspired asparagus, I see a rags to riches story of a beautiful lunch waiting to happen. How is this possible? Well, due to understanding the basics of stir frying. Stir frying is an incredible technique that is probably most synonymous with Chinese cuisine, but is used all over the world. And if stripped down to its most basic cooking components, it looks like this. Step one, hot oil. Step two, stir fry dry seasonings. Three, stir fry longer cooking items. Four, stir fry shorter cooking items. Five, stir fry wet seasoning, if you're using them. And six, garnish. Now there can be a bunch of nuance and variation of stir frying, you know, bao versus chow technique, wok hei, long yao, or oil pass-throughs, but when really breaking it down to its most basic components, you can stir fry literally anything for any reason. You can stir fry cheap ingredients, stir fry expensive ones, stir fry high calorie ingredients, stir fry low calorie ones, make some authentic Chinese or Thai dishes, or like today, I'm using up some raggedy vegetables to make an Italian inspired stir fry in about 12 minutes. So let's begin. To start, slice two lengths of hot Italian sausage into pieces. Cutting them up in small pieces like this will increase the surface area of the sausage that is able to be browned upon later. Next, thinly slice the red onion, the bell pepper, and chop the asparagus into chunks. Any vegetables can be used, but in general, I like to slice them into roughly the same shape. Lastly, crush three cloves of garlic and remove the peels. I like keeping them whole, but crushed for stir fries like this. And lastly, to round out the aromatics, slice a Calabrian chili to provide some spice, and then chiffon on some basil, which will be used as garnish at the end. With everything prepped, it's time to stir fry. Place a wok or any pan over high heat, and a cool way to check if your pan is hot enough is using the leading frost effect, where basically you add a drop of water and if it moves freely around the pan, it's hot enough for sauteing or stir frying. Add 15 grams of olive oil until it is shimmering but not smoking, and step one is done. Next, toss in the crushed garlic cloves and sliced Calabrian chili, and toss for just 15 to 20 seconds, being careful not to burn them. For the longer cooking items, add the sliced chicken sausage and cook to develop some browning on the exterior, about three or so minutes. The sausage will also release some fat itself that can be used for the vegetables and you actually don't need a bunch of oil for this recipe. Once browned, move the vegetables a bit towards the sides of the wok or pan and add the shorter cooking items, which are the vegetables in this case, along with a sprinkle of salt and about 20 cranks of black pepper. Stir fry for another one to two minutes to develop some slight browning on the exterior just until they're cooked through. You want them to have a nice little crunch to them, but definitely be cooked at the same time. By browning throughout the stir fry process, it creates flavor compounds, making our food more delicious. Now, if you wanted to make a soft stir fry, such as my Kung Pao chicken video, this is where it would be done, but I'm skipping it for this Italian stir fry. Lastly, turn off the heat and garnish with the chiffonade basil and stir to combine. Since basil is highly volatile, adding it right at the end will preserve most of the flavor. And then lastly, just give this a taste. You can add more salt or sauces, whatever seasonings like oils or vinegars that you want to. Spoon the finished stir fry onto a plate and hit it with a nice dusting of Parmesan Reggiano. And this full plate clocks in at 529 calories and 47 grams of protein. Let us consume. All right, everybody, so case in point, I mean, you gotta learn how to stir fry. Um, super important technique to learn. You can literally make anything with the basics of stir frying. Um, I was really in the mood for this kind of asparagus, Italian sausage, and it's kind of a healthier version using chicken sausage, but the flavors on it are, are really so nice. Pretty much any meats, vegetables you throw in this, as long as you kind of layer those salts well. You know, we did salt with the vegetables, a little Parmesan in there, the chicken sausage is salty in itself, so kind of really nice and balanced and spiciness from the Calabrian chili. 
the aromatic from the garlic and then just having a bunch of fresh, you know, vegetables. Well, not fresh, you know, pretty old vegetables actually, but you completely transform them into something new. So hopefully you guys, you know, get the basics of stir frying. Uh, I do want to do some videos kind of hopping into some more kind of traditional Chinese or, or Thai dishes that, you know, use a wok because they are a lot of fun to use. Um, wok is such a great pan to have in your kitchen, whether you're using it for stir fries or like I like to do, I like to deep fry a lot and it is always the go-to uh, pan for that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned a little something. The recipe for this will be up on my website if you guys want to check it out, make this exact stir fry that I did. But just keep those kind of six steps in mind and you guys will be making some delicious dishes. Peace, y'all.